Hello everybody. I am Lieutenant General Philip Campos, retired, and I will be speaking to you about drones as the most cost-effective means to develop military capability for the squirrels dot in. The most significant fact about major global conflicts of the past four years, namely Ukraine, Nagorno-Karabakh, Gaza and the Red Sea, are the disruptive nature of attacks by the weaker adversary as also the technology-driven character of these attacks. Most importantly, what stands out is the cost-effective advantage of the means employed. Thus, drone-based surveillance and top attack systems Anti-drone systems, precision-guided munitions, AI and robotics, battlefield awareness have all acquired new meaning in shaping modern-day warfare. Of these means, drone warfare, the employment of drones and anti-drone systems in warfare can be described as the most significant and cost-effective development in the modern battlefield. India too has been facing external challenges in the military domain due to its unresolved border disputes. Not only has India to deal with relentless territorial challenges from its two belligerent neighbors, but it also has to deal with active connivance between the two, which has extended in the past even to the prohibited realm of sharing nuclear weapons technology. On the other hand, Given the volumes involved, we face serious budgetary challenges in meeting the modernization needs of our armed forces, be it in the realm of modern guns, missiles, tanks, infantry combat vehicles, aircraft, warships or submarines. Indigenization and self-reliance in military procurement are thus touted as the priority means to meet our future military requirements. But due to the complex nature of modern weaponry and armament, as also the fledgling nature of our industry, it will take a long time for our indigenization efforts to materialize up to the desired levels. It is in these aforesaid contexts that acquisition of drones and anti-drone systems and development of related technology provide a possible answer to our modernization problem, at least as an interim measure. Essentially, drones are unmanned aerial vehicles which provide highly lethal, yet a low signature, low vulnerability and low cost option for dealing with the current range of military threats. Drone warfare of the future and acquisition of means thereto have also to be seen in the context of combining all the latest defense technologies including those for long-range and long-endurance surveillance, target acquisition and tracking, battlefield awareness, lethal engagement of platform-based targets at varying distances, utilizing precision-guided munitions, command and control, damage assessment, communications, logistics, and so on. Related swarm drone technology involving coordinated employment of multiple drones also need to be mastered and implemented for maximizing the disruptive effect. Concurrently, keeping in view the acquisition of drone warfare systems by our adversaries, anti-drone systems, both in the non-kinetic and kinetic realm, need to be developed and or procured at utmost priority even for addressing the swarm drone threat. What is important to note is that while developing drones, a serious effort must be made to ensure high quality, low signature, as well as cost effectiveness. Equally important, the acquisition of drones for military purposes need to be regulated and coordinated to ensure quality standards and optimization of resources. Half-hazard procurement would also not be cost-effective and could even pose serious challenges in their employment. To that extent, a drone management agency also needs to be established under the CDS, if not done so already. 
So what are the roles of drones and drone systems in modern warfare? Surveillance and reconnaissance, intelligence gathering, stealth and covert operations, facilitate battlefield awareness, target acquisition and tracking, lethal engagement of targets, guidance for precision strikes, battle damage assessment, command and control, neutralizing enemy drones, electronic warfare, search and rescue operation, humanitarian aid assistance, communication operations, and logistic support. What are the advantages of drone warfare over conventional warfare means? Round the clock and all weather operations, low radar signature, it's a stealthy system, drastic improvement in attacker versus target cost-benefit ratio, reduces risk and fatigue to personnel, maximizes related use of technological support means, minimizes collateral damage due to better accuracy of engagement and by incorporating IFF, better response to emergency situation. So what are the types of drones that we need? These include surveillance drones, short endurance, medium endurance, and for long endurance, pop attack drones using gun, rockets, or missiles, to engage multiple targets at tactical, operational, and strategic depths, loiter attack or kamikaze drones to destroy critical targets, and underwater attack drone. Equally important is the acquisition of anti-drone systems to protect our assets and personnel from drone attacks. In keeping pace with developments in drone technology, Modern technology-based anti-drone systems utilize AI, machine learning, and low collateral electronic countermeasures to detect, identify, and neutralize the enemy's drone systems. Essentially, detection of small radar cross-section, that is RCS drones, is done using optical, acoustic, or IR sensors or radio frequency analyzers or counter drone radars using multi Doppler capability. This process is followed by classification for differentiation from birds and identification or IFF of targets. Thereafter, the enemy drones are neutralized by electronic jamming using radio frequency jammers or high-power microwave devices or high-energy lasers, or they are killed using kinetic engagement using air defense guns, medium machine guns, or missiles. Alternately, the drone's control can be taken over by cyber means and manipulated or captured. The types of anti-drone systems that need to be acquired. First, the sensor systems involving one or more of the following, multi-Doppler radar, acoustic sensors or microphones, optical sensors and trackers, these are cameras, radio frequency analyzers, and also drone neutralizing systems. These could be nets and net guns, radio frequency jammers, GPS spoofers, high power microwave or HPM devices, high energy lasers, cyber takeover systems, machine guns or missiles. To summarize, currently drones are the most important and cost-effective system required by our military to develop the desired capability with a view to plug possible gaps in our defense modernization as also to disrupt the nefarious plans of our adversaries. Concurrently, anti-drone systems would be required to neutralize the capabilities that our adversaries would have developed or acquired in the drone warfare arena. It is also important that while ensuring high quality, the cost of procurement and production is kept low to make it attainable and cost effective towards optimizing our capability development in the current context. Jai Hind.